Hello, I'm Tim Morris, and today we are going to talk about most forward and most aft CG. And we're going to use this airplane to demonstrate this concept and how we're going to load the airplane. Let's look at the type certificate data sheet and the information on the Piper Archer. This is also called a PA 28-181. The center of gravity range is here from 82 to 93 uh, at 2050 or less, and here's another range at a higher. We'll show you this, the, the graph of the CG range or the CG envelope. You can see our maximum weight for new, normal category is takeoff weight of 2550 and for utility category, different type of operations, it's a takeoff weight of 2130. You can see that there's four seats. The baggage compartment is at station 142.8 and you can put 200 pounds and so we're going to load this airplane now in a nose heavy condition so what would happen if we loaded this airplane to where everything heavy was to the front of the airplane and everything light was to the back let's see what happens I'm going to make this perfectly clear we're going to load this airplane nose heavy which means that we look at the empty weight CG and the station number for the empty weight CG and we're going to load everything in front of the CG heavy everything in back light we're going to say this a couple of times I've constructed a weight and balance chart here and you can look at the column that says arm and I have First, the basic empty weight of this airplane uh, entered in the weight, the weight column. That's our starting point and our CG. So that's our first line. And then I've got all the different seats where people can sit. First row is the pilot and the co-pilot. Second row is the two passengers. And I also have the arm or station location for the baggage and for the fuel. So let's load this nose heavy. We're going to put the heavy things in the nose. So we grab this heavy weight. I'm going to put it on the nose. We're loading most forward. Heavy stuff in the nose. And the feather, the lightweight, everything that's light is going to go in back of the CG. Our CG is right there on the wing, just behind the pilot seat. That's our pivot point. So we're going to pick things that will load heavy in the nose. Now, pilots, first row of seats. We're going to put two pilots on here because it's in front of the CG and it'll make it nose heavy. The second row of seats. What about the second row? In the second row, we're going to put no pilots, or no, uh, no passengers, rather. Now, people weigh 170 pounds, so the two pilots, we put 340 on there. We're going to put zero in the second row. Baggage, zero. Now, the fuel is in front of the CG if you look at the station location. So if we want it nose heavy and it's in front of the CG we're gonna put full fuel on here so we're going to put the maximum amount of fuel we can put in here 50 gallons looking at this spreadsheet I can see very quickly my maximum or my my most forward CG that the airplane can fly is at is is 82 inches and if I put full fuel in uh, 50 gallons at 300 pounds that would put us too far forward that puts us in front of 82 inches on the center of gravity so with this spreadsheet I can play around with these weights I end up putting 25 gallons of fuel at 150 pounds and that still makes us too far forward so to balance this airplane, I'm going to have to put 30 pounds of baggage that's back in the tail to bring this thing into a safe flying condition. So I have to have a CG that's aft of 82 inches. So my most forward CG condition, if I have to keep the two pilots in the front seat, is to go with partial fuel and 30 pounds of baggage to balance it out and that is my most forward CG condition that I've calculated. 
we're going to put in 1820 for the weight and 82.06 inches and that's where our CG is. Here's our most aft loading and if you look at the first now you see the feather is on the front and the heavy weight is on the tail. So we're loading everything behind the center of gravity heavy and anything in front of the empty weight center of gravity light. So on our first line the pilot sits in front of the center of gravity. We want that light like the feather. So we're only going to have one pilot. Next we have two passengers and we're going to have quite a bit of baggage. The fuel is located in front of the center of gravity so we're going to be at minimum fuel and that is called METO fuel and it's calculated there's an FAA definition for METO fuel and that's one half the rated horsepower of the engine. So in this case the engine is rated at 180 horsepower so our half of that, our METO fuel comes in at 90 pounds and remember this is in pounds. So here's how it ended up. When we put in the full baggage, 200 pounds, it put the CG so far aft it was aft of the limit. The limit is at 93 inches. So we found out that we had to put a lower number and we put 160 pounds of baggage in here and the minimum fuel. So we ended up at 92.9 inches aft loading and this condition you see here is our most aft CG condition. Let's summarize the most forward CG and the most aft CG loading techniques. Number one, the weight and balance formula is simple and it remains the same. Weight times arm equals moment. You start out with the empty weight of the airplane and the empty weight CG. The second half of the weight and balance formula is total moment divided by total weight equals CG. So we'll use the standard techniques to do it. Weight times arm equals moment. The next thing to remember is looking at the empty weight center of gravity. To be most forward, we load things heavy in the nose and light in the tail. To be most aft, we load things heavy in the tail and light on the nose. This means that we'll have to go through item by item, look at it, and determine if it makes us nose heavy or nose light. And that's the most difficult part of this is picking the things that you need for a no most forward or a most aft CG. Think of the heavy weight and the feather and you can figure this out. The last thing to remember is that we look at the CG range of the aircraft and we have to load it in the range. So if we do our calculation and we do something like pick 200 pounds of baggage and that 200 pounds of baggage with the rest of the load puts us outside of the flyable limit, we have to go back and recalculate. And we recalculate until we can get into that limit. So in our case, we ended up having to reduce the amount of baggage to get us just barely inside the envelope. This finding the most forward and most aft CG will be a back and forth process. But now you have the recipe for success.